Israeli police have stormed the al aqsa Mosque in occupied East Jerusalem, firing rubber bullets and stun grenades. This latest raid saw approximately 40 Palestinians injured, including three journalists. Tens of thousands of Muslims were expected at the al aqsa Mosque compound later in the day for Friday prayers. And this year, Ramadan, Passover and Easter overlap, with tens of thousands of people flocking to Jerusalem's old city. It comes as there's been heightened tensions following a series of attacks inside Israel and police raids in the West Bank. Here at France 24, Yinka Oyatari has this. In a show of defiance, thousands of Hamas supporters marched through the Jabalia refugee camp in the Gaza Strip. Repeated visits of Israeli Jews to the al aqsa Mosque in Jerusalem continues to trigger outrage from Palestinians. The Holy Sites compound has been the epicenter of unrest between Israelis and Palestinians in recent weeks. Hamas warned the enemy, through mediators, of carrying out their plans to confirm that we will keep defending Al-Aqsa Mosque with all our might. The march came hours after tensions reached breaking point in the compound of the Al-Aqsa Mosque once again. Dozens of Palestinians were left injured in clashes with Israeli police. The forces fired rubber bullets and stun grenades at a crowd of about 200 Palestinians. Israeli police say the group were hurling rocks towards the Western Wall, where Jewish prayers were underway. The Israeli forces set up more than 100 roadblocks on the way to Al-Aqsa compound. They reinforced security at the checkpoints and blocked our scout members. After Friday prayers, dozens gathered in the compound of the mosque waving flags in support of Hamas. Israelis and Palestinians have been gripped by a wave of attacks over the past few weeks. The surge in violence has raised fears that there might be a repeat of the 11-day war which took place last May between the two sides. We're watching all developments, of course, on that story.